I am Elizabeth. Okay. I am a born and raised Torontonian, and I have a business where I make people lunches and bring them oh my to God, their I... desks by bicycle. That is awesome. I can actually smell this right yes. now. So yes. So part of what I was trying to achieve when I decided I was going to do this was to keep it as local as I could at a price point that was appealing for um, anyone so that right. this wasn't some thing that only Bay Street folks could afford and to support other local businesses right? and um, to do everything to, for the most part, by bike. You know, like I, I've just always been a rider who... Um, there, that's the bike. Oh, no way. That's actually not at all what I thought it was. Um, I've been of the mindset that, you know, cool. you don't let cars drive you. You're part right. of the road. And if they want to go around you, they'll figure out a way to go around you. And, like, you take the space that you need. And there's no point in putting yourself in danger driving too close to parked cars right. where you've been do can be doored, which has happened to me. Cyclists are very vulnerable and so, therefore, can be on edge and will get a little bit like up in driver's faces because they feel under attack right um because they're in a vulnerable position i think cars are equally as vulnerable because they're in the position where they're going to be in the wrong yeah. if there's an accident that's where i stand on the situation how can people reach you then if they want to oh um i'm the internet at lily's lunches awesome. and uh, i think i might be the only one using hashtag pop-up picnic yeah all right. Well, thank you very much You're for talking to me.